right so what is going on today youtube we are going to be doing a ban list prediction for uh this uh upcoming ban list which i believe should be coming out at the end of august or maybe september uh latest i would say is october because uh when pendulums came out they waited till october to give us a ban list uh, yeah i know it's pretty stupid isn't it yeah so <clears throat> yeah we're going to go ahead and get into it um pretty much what i used for this list the, the, the pretty much the, the reason why i picked certain cards is because of uh looking back in the history of the game uh when you had uh certain uh certain decks i mean not certain decks when we had uh sync rolls xyz's or pendulums come out uh bandless came out right after them then they hit they hit the basically the previous top deck they hit that down and then they you know put some inconspicuous cards that you would think that uh why, why why the hell would you put that uh up when you know that this mechanic is coming out it's just going to be boosted by that but they do do that and then and then you get uh some of the best decks or you get uh you just get pretty much like okay well we knew this was going to happen when you did it so that's pretty much what i use and then for pendulums which is i, I would just call it an exception because that list was just horrible i don't know what the hell konami is thinking and that's what got me scared because that's the konami i believe we're working on with now because that list if you go look at that list that 2014 list is very it's a terrible list I, I i have no clue what they were thinking it was very lackluster it was it should not have been what it was but that is then this is now so let's go ahead and get started with this list so to start off the name the for the first card I we should just expect on the list and I believe this is like a 95% chance of getting hit is Zodiac Barrage what can I say about this card man that you guys don't already damn know this card is just pretty much the deck now it makes it's it, the deck is so out of control right now Barrage puts it it's like I don't think there's another card like Barrage the fact that it's continuous the fact that you can just destroy other cards you can destroy itself if you wanted to and you just keep special summoning zodiac from your deck is just ridiculous it's getting to a point it is just the deck needs to get hit this is one of the main uh engines of uh, not not really engines but this this card is pretty much a very big proponent of why the deck is so good the fact that you don't have to use your normal summon to go ahead and get into your combos it's just this card i believe if if anything in the zodiac deck does get banned it's this is the first card second card maxi I hate Maxi. Everybody hates Maxi. I mean, it went from three to two, two to one. I mean, the most logical assumption is to go to zero. And also, <clears throat> with Links being out, you don't want to have any cards that really. You don't really have too many cards that deter it. Maxi would really deter somebody from going, to, from playing Links or doing, like, using Links because the only reason you want to use Links is so you can access your extra deck. So that means if you have a play. And you start to go off and i know that like you have to go into a link i can just max see you it's going to cost it's going to give me about uh, three or four or five cards and you're going to have a link with one monster and that's going to really make people upset and uh maxi just ran its course it's a very good card just go ahead and just go ahead and just go in to win man go in to win last card i think that has a possibility of getting banned or should be banned is zodiac dryden because um you remember everything i talked about with barrage yeah and so let's say that you get to do all that and end with a card that pops a, a, a face up card on your side of the field during either player's turn so yeah that that that's uh yeah take everything i said with barrage add add add, add something that can just pop on your opponent's turn and that you should get where why dryden needs to be banned over bronze so uh, going into the limited cards, uh, it would be Gofu. Gofu, I think, should get limited because uh, it may actually not get limited. But I think it should get limited because then it promotes, like, Gofu being in everybody's deck. And once again, Konami does not like that Compulse Book of Moon. There's a plethora of uh, cards that got limited or maybe even banned because they were being played in everything. Um, yeah, this is a big problem this would be a big problem i think they're going to go ahead and limit it even though it does like it promotes links but then again you don't want everybody using it so <clears throat> i would say 75 percent sure it gets banned i mean not banned but limited down to one but you never know konami does do strange things and another thing 
um, I do want to talk about with like Zodiacs is you know you, you guys already know the tournament reports. So I mean, this was literally in everything. So I mean, if it's in the top thirty-two decks, then it, it needs to go ahead and go. Um, second card is a terraforming and uh, yeah, this this card just needs to go. It's becoming pretty much Rota, where it's in pretty much everything, and it's just it's too good, man. They're, they're, they're making busted ass field cards. And then since the trap card is coming out that, uh, what's the name? Uh, the trap card that comes out that pretty much is the same thing as terraforming in a little, it's a, as in a card, it's better, but terraforming is just faster. But as a card, the trap card is better. So you want to promote people using that card. You're going to limit terraforming, possibly even ban it. That'd be going too far, but that may happen. Um, and then with diagram, this card right here is just it, it it's it's in too many decks once again the gofu the compulse the book of moon problem you don't want one card spamming in a lot of decks not even being used for what it's actually intended for so diagram is being used in six samurai i mean not not now but it's being used in six samurai it's being used in fucking dinos it's being used in so many damn decks that it ain't got no business being in um i really feel like this card is definitely going to go down to one the next card is snow um, this card just needs to be at one. Doesn't really affect links, but it can stop somebody from going into a link. Uh, and another thing is that it's just a busted ass card that probably should have never been printed, but hey, it is. It probably is going to go to one, but I'm not too sure about that. But it looks like a 25% chance this actually goes to one. And I know what you guys are thinking why the hell do I have all the kaijus? I think that Konami is going to do something kaiju related. My guess. Is they're going to limit every single kaiju because I, I just think that it's going to happen. Um, if I can just play multiple gamma seals, that means I can just give you a 2200 uh, kaiju. You know that's not relatively hard to get over. It's easy. I can just like I said, you know, give you a give you a gamma seal, summon mines, summon my uh, what's the name? Summon my gamma seal, summon one stronger than gamma seal, run it over. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Gets rid of a link. Get rid of any problem card and stuff like that. Um, but if you limit it, not only does it hurt slumber, because now if you only play a certain amount of Kaijus, then you're really like, you're getting limited. Even though I know there's, there's, there's decks that only play, like they play one of each Kaiju, but with this, it promotes it even more because there's some decks that play multiple of the same Kaiju. They play a lot of Kaijus. I think this may just get, uh, I think they may just limit all of them though. That's, uh, that's just my guess. You guys let me know what you guys think. Um, cause just like I said, man, Kaijus are just amazing. Once again, they're pushing links. They don't want to pretty much have cards that just gets over links this with a relative ease. And then you can just get, still do what you want to do. I think maybe every single Kaiju might get limited. Um, another card that I think sadly something's going to happen to is Solitaire. I think something zombie related, either Solitaire, Unizombie, or Mizuki, one of those three cards, I would think that's going something going to happen. God forbid that nothing happens. But um, it was in Minerva Sworn. It's it's just a good card. Omega, once again, that can also be on this list. Uh, this card, this slot right here can be Omega. Anything zombie related, I believe it's going to be on here. I think something's going to get touched. Probably not, maybe not limited, but I think something's going to get touched. I think they may limit though, because they, they don't like zombies. They don't like shit like that. So this may get limited and it's going to be sad. Next card I do want to talk about is Masterpiece. Uh, once again, we're trying to promote links. You don't want to give the, you don't want to let people play a deck that just obviously can bypass all the link mechanics and just pretty much still whoop your ass. Like Masterpiece, the true Draco deck can whoop your ass. Don't have to use a single link. They usually don't play an extra deck. You don't have to you you can just summon multiple masterpieces and beat your opponent you don't want that you definitely want them to be playing links so they're probably going to get rid of master police or hit the deck even harder um another card is witch of the black forest sagan went to three i'm pretty sure witch got an errata yeah you can only use the effect once per turn the same thing as sagan it's probably going to go to three um this card would actually be I think wouldn't I think this would not go to three because of the the defense being less than 1500 there's a lot of cards that are under 1500 that are very powerful um, that you can search as uh, dog runner yeah see where you can search a damn dog around which is just which is just dumb and you can just press summon it too so and it can be sent to the graveyard for a link 
I definitely don't think it's going to be going to three. And then the last card is Brawl Bull. I think these are interchangeable. If this doesn't get banned along with Dryden, I believe that um, it would be get limited. And if it doesn't get, uh, if, it get if this gets banned, then Dryden is going to get limited. So yeah, that's that. And then on to the semi limits, which uh, these are very hard to predict since there's not really, they don't really move a lot of shit to semi limit or unlimited. So I don't have an unlimited section because it's just so hard to predict. Is this could be anything you really want? You can just guess. Um, but I think Dandelion may be going to two. Like I said, you want to push links. You don't want to make it too good because Gofu is just, I don't need anything. With Dandelion, you need to put it in the graveyard. Scout, they are, they, this might go to three because i mean pendulums are already dead there's no reason to hold them back any longer go ahead and put scout to three mathematician i mean like i said you can summon this dump a dandelion they're probably going to bump this up to three it does have no reason to be on the list uh like i said these are just guesses man these last couple of cards are just guesses um they they might stay they may go to three it doesn't just have no reason to be on the list mathematician is far out the meta i don't think it's going to re-enter the meta I think it can boost some like lower tier decks. And lastly, Book of Moon, it just needs to go to two already. Just stop, stop Konami. Just put it to two, put it to three. Let everybody have a generic good card that's defensive and offensive at the same exact time. It's just a very good card. Book of Moon just needs to be off the list, man. I, I miss it. So yeah, that is it for today. Um, yeah, you guys let me know what you guys think of the list and stuff like that. Once again, I didn't do an unlimited section because it's so hard to predict and Konami really doesn't move a lot of cards off the list. Um, and it's like I said, they, if they do, uh, once they move something off the list, it's going to be a this random uncalled for card. And that's that's definitely OK. That's one thing I do want to end on. You guys let me know what one random card you think that Konami is actually going to move Uh anywhere it can be for unlimited to ban unlimited to semi limited you know either or what one card do you guys think is going to go or what one card you wish would be moved on a list my one card is still going to be burial because that card is amazing you know actually i would love dark arm to go to more than one that would be fun very fucking fun to play you guys let me know what one card you guys would like to see um change and yeah that is it for today hope you guys did enjoy the video um, if you guys did do uh, enjoy the video, click an ad to help support the channel. <clears throat> that is it for today. Thank you guys. And I will see you guys next week.